and welcome to another edition of Brampton Focus Webisode. My name is Michael A. Charbon. As our population continues to age, you really have two options, right? You can either go to an old age home or you can stay within your house. Now this stay within your house option is becoming more and more popular and for a lot of people is a more economical solution to retirement. And my guest today is Mr. Victor Oliveira, who is a regional director of In Our Care Services and is a kind of business that uh, helps people stay in their house. Victor, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks on for having me here. So when we talk about people in their, in their senior, in their golden years who own their own house um, and they don't want to go to an old age home, they worked all their life for their garden and, and the, the amenities that they have within their house, they really have two choices, right? You either go to an assisted living old age home and you stay in your house. How does uh, In Our Care Services help them stay in their home? Well, thanks for asking. That's a good question, but there's actually three options. Uh, you can go into a residence facility, which is almost like a condominium. Uh, you can go into a nursing home or, of course, uh, the most common option, the option that most people want, is to remain in their home. Uh, they've worked for it, they've raised their family, and it's where they want to age in place. How we facilitate that is we do an assessment of their home to ensure that it is a suitable place for them to age in place, and uh, we look at uh, some care options. Um, so that way their aging process will be a safe one. I like that, age in place. I mean, that, that sounds a little, not quite sure, but age in place basically. So um, I have the ability to stay within my home, but if there are certain hazards that you would identify as one gets older, uh, certain hazards that could cause harm, you help to rectify that, but there, there's more to your service than just that. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so the first thing that we do uh, is perhaps Home care is the perfect solution for someone to age in place, but not every home is the perfect home for that. Mm. Uh, so if you live in a, uh, in a bungalow, so obviously the, the layout is perfect for aging in place. As mobility may decline, um, bungalow is more suitable. Uh, if you live in a two-story facility or a two-story home, um, then we look at well, how we can make the living conditions on the first floor so that that process can still be engaging, fulfilling, and successful. So in, in today's medical scenario, I, I had a, a personal occasion. We, we had a friend of ours who had a baby. Uh, she had a baby in the same day she went home. And when my mother reflected on that, having me, she was in the hospital for a week. So it's all about anybody who's involved in a hospital altercation, get them fixed up or patched up and get them out. So when we talk about uh, people in their golden years, um, they don't, the hospital don't want them to stay. They want them to go back home. So you're faced with the circumstance of either having a, a family member take care of you or you're faced with a circumstance if you don't have family members close by, how do you mitigate that in your own home without having to go to an assisted living location? Well, when, you're, when, you go, when an older person goes into a health care facility, let's say an acute care facility, uh, the intent is to fix people and send them back home. That, mm -hmm. that is the, uh, what the entity of acute care is. Geriatric facilities is more for a long term, um, but those facilities are not readily available. Uh, waiting periods for a facility of your choice is between three to five years. And as Michael indicated, uh, yes, when you go into a facility, you are urged to be um, discharged as soon as possible. And we have a number of scenarios uh, throughout the region of Peel. We have individuals who live alone, individuals who live with their partner who is also uh, a senior, and um, you have individuals who live with families who are not able to stay home and look after their, their loved one. So that is when CCAC, uh, it's a government entity, uh, will go in and let the family know what they will qualify for hours. So there's a perfect, there's a perfect question in that. Um, there would be many people who would assume that with our government assisted health care, uh, OHIP, our provincial government, our federal government, that there would be funds and services and programs available to assist people who still want to maintain their level of interaction and, and living or aging in place, as you would say, in their, in their own house. Where do we stand right now in, in funding from a, a municipal, provincial, and federal standpoint? Uh, I, I think everyone assumes that the government will take care of us, uh, but unfortunately that's not the case. I mean, we had a provincial election, we had a, uh, a federal election, a provincial budget, a federal budget, and there was really no significant announcements of what they're going to be offering for 
uh, home care, although provincially and federally they're pushing people to age in place. So that brings up a dilemma is that what's not being said is as strong a message as if it was something was said. Um, so aging in place is really uh, an accountability of the family and the client who wish to transition to that form of care. So does the provincial or federal government uh, have monies set aside for people who are aging in place and want to age in their own home? Are there funds for them to be able to access? Because if you don't age in place, you're eventually going to have to go to a municipal uh, facility anyways. So it's kind of like you can pay me now or you can pay me later, right? True, uh, with one caveat. Okay. Uh, there isn't really a lot of nursing homes being built in order to accommodate the uh, uh, the influx of seniors. Mm. Our, our community is, is growing in the region of Peel. Uh, our aging population, 65 and over, will double in the next 10 years. Uh, so certainly there are uh, funds available through CCAC, but it certainly does not cover the full needs of what a family or an individual may need. So private care is usually essential. Families end up calling us uh, either through some sort of a referral program or some homework that they've done on their own uh, to source care for their loved ones. So Victor, that's a perfect segue point uh, for us now. Um, with about a minute or so left, I just want you to give our folks at home a bit of an appraisal about um, uh, your in our care service uh, offers people and how they can access you because there are many people who still want to remain in their house and as my father always said the only way you're going to take me out of my house is feet first as he said but uh, tell our folks at home a little bit about what kind of uh, service you offer okay so what we provide is we provide psw or an rpn uh, that goes into the home to take care of their personal so to care. tell them what the, for those people who don't a registered nurse and the no it's a personal support worker or a registered nursing practitioner okay uh, so they go into the home and what they do is they provide personal care as well as cooking cleaning and laundry so we are an extension of their of their self or their family uh, in order to really sustain them in a safe uh, well-being environment uh, while cared for in some instances if our caregivers have the ability and have access to a vehicle they take them to appointments we do the grocery shopping and we really are uh, intricately involved with the family members and the clients to ensure that all their needs are continuously being met. Fantastic. That's uh, in our uh, careservices.com. And we've been speaking to Mr. Victor o o Oliviera. Oliviera. Oliveira. Oliveira, who is the regional director. Uh, my name is Michael A. Charbon. You've watched a webisode uh, brought to you by Brampton Focus. If you have a community event or a social event or you have something of merit that you believe uh, is important to the people of Brampton, uh, please contact us at bramptonfocus.ca. My name is Michael A. Charbon. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.